Hi, Tim Unkert here. In this video, I thought it would be fun to recreate a fun math question I found on qmath.com and write that as a Python program. So this fun math question goes as follows. It's if one equals three, two equals three, three equals five, four equals four, five equals four, then six equals what? Well, six equals three because it has, six has three letters. Okay, so let's create, recreate this in Python. Okay, so I'm going to uh, CD into my Python programs folder, and I am going to uh, create a program called number underscore equals underscore yt uh, dot pi. Yt is for YouTube. Uh, and because Halloween's coming up, let's do the Dracula color scheme, okay? And I'm going to create a class and call that class, uh, let's call it number equals, okay? And we're gonna instantiate that class. So we're gonna take in the self and then the number, and we're gonna set the number equal to, um, let's just set it equal to one as a default in case they don't actually specify okay and then we'll say self dot number equals number and that's going to be all it for that function and then we'll have another function uh, or another method uh, and we're going to call this um, let's call it number length because that's really what it's returning and we'll take in the self and okay so what we're going to do is we need to create an array from the uh, number, okay? So to do that, um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create an array called number list, and I'm gonna set that equal to um, an array where I say character for character in, uh, then we're gonna say self.number. And that's going to give me each letter in the array of the number written out as a word. Okay. Now I want a variable to uh, keep track of this. So I'm going to say this variable is x equals zero. And I'm going to say for each letter in our number list array, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, increment x up by one. So that's where that x plus equals one. And then at the end of this function, I'm just going to return, or at the end of this method, I'm going to return x. And that's going to be my class. Okay. So I want to create a new object. So I'm going to say number underscore one equals number equals. And we're going to pass in the number six, and we should get three, right? And so now what I want to do is print number one number underscore one dot, um, then this number underscore length function, okay? And so I'm gonna do that. And now what I'm going to do is run it and let's do Python three and then the name of the file number equals underscore yt dot pi. And we get three because our our number six is three letters long. Cool, okay. So the cool thing about this object-oriented programming is I can create another object, let's call this number underscore two, and that's gonna be number equals. And this time, let's come up with a longer number, um, like 18, okay? And uh, we're gonna save it, and then, um, under that, uh, let's print number two dot number length, okay? And let's save that and open up a terminal. And we should get, let's see, uh, I think eight. I think there's eight letters. So, uh, and we'll get the three again for the first number. So we get three and eight. So um, we can do this again. We can create as many objects as we want. We can say number three equals number equals, and let's pass in um, two uh, dash 
hundred. So uh, actually, that that should count uh, the dash. Um, and and then let's uh, print number underscore three dot number underscore length and let's uh, saved it already. Let's open up the terminal and run it. And we see we get three, eight, and then 11 because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 characters, including the dash. So it was a fun little project to create this little Python program that uh, mimics the math problem that you have online. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. This really will help the channel grow. And if you've already done that, I thank you, and I hope to see you in the next one.